All right, so I got this Blox racing harness bar, and I want to put it into a CRX that does not come with pillar mounted seat belts. This one does, and as you can see, it already has a nut welded into the frame right here where you can insert a bolt for the pillar mounted belts. Unfortunately, these pillar, the non pillar mounted seat belts do not have that, so we're gonna have to add that. So, what I found is these bolts or nuts which are actually what are used to hold the struts on for at least the front, pretty sure they're for the rear too, but whatever. And what you do, you're going to take the little washer portion off of it, and that leaves a pretty nice sort of, not taper, but ridge there to put that on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm putting it on on the door mounted style they have a hole in the frame they just don't have the nut in it so after you take that washer off it actually sits pretty well in that hole and that'll center it to some degree so I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down weld this in on both sides and then we'll have mounting points for the harness bar all right so here's the final results Got a nice bead all the way around this. It's nice and sturdy. I'm not here to teach you guys how to weld or anything and let you figure that out yourself. But I will say that if, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, this is the weld that I would probably let a professional do because it's a safety equipment. So it's not the difference between your car falling apart or not. It's, uh, it's the difference between you getting killed in an accident or not. So do it your own regard. All right, aside from that, the bar does have arms that come down from where the bar goes and go down to where the seats, the bottom of the seat belt mounts on pillar mounted seat belts. Luckily on the passenger side, at least, there is a little knob or screw, a plastic screw right here that goes into the hole where the seat belt would mount on this side, but there's just no seat belt there. Uh, there's not the same thing on the driver's side though, so I'm gonna have to pull up the carpet and see if there is. And if not, you're gonna have to weld another nut on that side. And unsurprisingly enough, there is no mounting hole on this side at all. So I'm basically just gonna do the exact same thing I did up there, except I have to drill my hole first. Okay, all done. My uh, wet washcloth kind of got stuck to it. While I was trying to cool it off. Um, but anyway, I do want to, I think it's worth mentioning, then I know it's gonna come in the comments whether or not I say this right now or not, but the, the sheet metal on these, because it wasn't designed to have seat belts here, it doesn't have the same plating. Like on the pillar mounted belts, it's gonna have another sheet of metal underneath this one that's gonna be strengthening the overall pillar. These ones don't have the plate there because they weren't meant to have seat belts here. So it's not quite as safe as it would be if you were just doing it into a car that had pillar mounted belts from the get go. But this is about the best I can do without cutting the entire frame of the car apart. So it's gonna have to be good enough. Uh, aside from this, uh, all you can really do is just put a full cage in the car. So I'm doing the best I can with what I got. But anyway, now that we have all the mounting spots put into the car, let's go ahead and get the bar in here, see how it fits, see if it works, see if I messed up or not, and then go from there. Okay, now I got it in and it actually fits great. It feels pretty sturdy. Obviously I gotta tighten up those bolts a little bit, tighten down the uh, adjusting struts, but all the points line up pretty easily and it went in without any problems at all. Now the next question is what if you wanna run the interior plastics? Well, luckily I have one right here. Honda actually does you a solid and if you look real carefully right in this area, there's a little circle right there and that lines up exactly to where those bolt holes would be. So all you have to do is just take a Christmas tree bit, go ahead and drill that out and then you've got a hole for the mounting point to go through and you can still run your interior plastics. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get this back in and then tighten that up all the way and I'll be right back. And that is the gist of it. So it's all tightened up now and it's solid as a rock. This thing's actually really good quality. It's the Blocks brand if anybody wants to get one themselves. Uh, it's the only one I've tried out and I, I like it so far. Like there's no play in that at all. Uh, I had to tuck this in the carpet cause it wasn't very loose. Uh, kept the side trim plastics. As you can see, it fits really nice. Actually, there's like almost no, uh, like it didn't have to squish this much at all. Actually, it was almost sitting flush with it. So that's that's a good plus. 
Uh, one thing I'll say is the the bolt on this side is a really specific size. Like you might have to just get like an OEM seat belt bolt, something like that. I thought it was an M10. Turned out that it was not. Tried an M12. That didn't fit. It was some weird size in the middle. So that's a little bit of an awkward situation. If you don't if you don't uh, have something like that, then you could always just weld on another nut on that side, and that'll work too. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and. Get all the rest of the interior back in this thing. I'll take some pictures for a little slideshow at the end of the video once it's all actually fully installed and together. Uh, just as a disclaimer, seeing as this is 2021 and you can't say anything about somebody trying to sue you, uh, do this at your own risk. I'm not a professional. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not telling you this is the only way to do this. I'm not telling you this is safe to do this. I'm just showing you how I did it for entertainment purposes only. Uh, don't come crying to me if you end up hurting yourself trying to do this yourself.